Greetings and salutations, citizens of the internet, and welcome to Light After Us, Fading Light. So if you don't know what uh, Life After Us is, it's a series of episodic horror games based on the universe of Edgar Allan Poe and H.P. Lovecraft, which are old horror writers that I really enjoy. So I haven't played the first two chapters, but they're all unrelated, because I actually I had seen less plays of it, so it didn't really make sense to record them. But I really want to record this one, because this is uh, it, it has a really interesting premise. Gone are the old castles, medieval castles, um, of things like Amnesia or the Wood of Slander. This one actually takes place in a cave. You're a tourist with a tour group and you get lost. So it's, it's original. I really like the premise. So we're going to play it. Um, how do I do this? Oh, I can actually walk around in here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Ah, I really like that. Okay, so let's play. While touring the old Arkham caverns, I decided to stray from the group. As I explored a lesser known part of the cave, I felt the ground collapse and I fell into darkness. I awoke with my flashlight broken. I stumbled around in the dark until I came upon an old lantern. I managed to light it and now I must try to find a way out. Coolio. Alright, so we're back here actually. I see a note. Journal entry. Find a way out. We were exploring the cave when we felt the cave floor collapse under us. We survived the fall, but my leg is broken and I can't walk. John is fine. He's going to scout ahead and try to find a way out of here. So these are notes left by other people. Hi there. Looks like I'm not the first to stumble upon this place. Doesn't seem like it. I could hear footsteps in the dark. Thinking it was John lost in the dark, I called out. As I did, the footsteps step stopped, and all I could hear was deep breathing, followed by noting. Noting. Oh well. I was already have the. Uh... God damn it! Well, I'm sorry, there. I don't know if you could hear me, but my microphone was in my beard. Now all we need is a beard cam. <laughs> How we survived that fall I never know. Simon's leg is broken. I've left one of the oil lamps with him and taken one to look for a way out. It's strange. This section of the cave is undiscovered. But there are many man-made structures. How old could they be? I don't know. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I saw last place of the other two and they were really good. Expe especially the second one. Okay. Some blue lights over here. It's no combat, it's just exploring, but I like that. Whoa, what was that? Okay. As I make my way through the cave, I keep thinking I hear movement or the sounds of scratching. The darkness must be playing tricks on me. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Pretty sure something's trying to kill us in here. What's that? Oh, crystals, nice. I wonder if they're worth something. Ooh, hi. Hello there, sir. There was an invisible wall there for a second. I have seen the remains of people and some odd notes from some sort of expedition. I don't know how old they are. It's hard to read this font. But no punctuation either. But we are clearly not the first down here. It's been so long since I had a drink of water or something to eat. I keep thinking I see something moving in the dark. Well, I could pretty m clearly see something walking right there. Pretty sure my mind isn't playing tricks on me. So, we're going deeper into the cave. Oh, it's a wall. Hi. So yeah, there are a lot of structures here. It looks like some kind of old mine. Maybe we're mining the crystals. Huh, a lot of notes. Journal of Charles Hawthorne. We found the lower part of the cave along with some man-made structures, proving that at least some group of old ones lived here. We will begin looking for the book next. What book? I have to read a book? Oh, no, I don't like reading. I actually do, but... <laughs> okay. So who... Oh, it's a junction. Uh, let's go left. Hello? 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 Is anybody there? 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 Am I even going the right way? 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 Huh, look at that. Hello, mushrooms. You're kind of big. 
I feel like I'm getting lost here. I get lost rather easily in games. I have like zero sense of direction. So should I have taken... Oh wow. That's pretty. Awesome. Should I have taken the other way? Because this doesn't look like a dead end or something. Oh come on. More splitting paths? Oh well. Let's do this. Oh, so this is a your entry. Find something to break the rocks. Do we have? Oh, I have a quest log. Oh, so it's, it's it's just that. Okay. I found a way out. I can feel the wind from behind the rocks. I know there has to be a passage out through here. I just need something to break the rocks. I'll just rest for a while before I look. Jesus. Oh, for before I look. Period. Jesus, I'm so hungry and thirsty, I just want to sleep. Well, you go you have all the time to sleep, Chris. You're dead. Poor guy. He was so close to making it out. Well so are we. Focus, focus. What? Did something collapse? I think something collapsed. I like the general atmosphere. It's not that scary yet, but Okay, let, let's just look around. If there are large portions of me just stumbling around this place without finding anything, I'll just cut it out, but... I like not cutting away from the action, so... These uh, games are generally pretty short, so I'll, I think I'll make this into a single episode. Whoa! I'm not going down there. Unless this uh, will take me like an hour to complete. Of, unless it will go over 30 minutes. Okay, so let's go here then. Oh, what's, what's this? Will this kill me? No, it won't, actually. Huh. The tension's getting to me. I just feel it. Oh, so that just leads back out. Was there nothing? In this pool? <gasps> oh, oh, that's just me. <laughs> it was so quiet for a while. Oh, that startled me. Okay, so I guess we have to go back to the other junction. Is that even the right word? Junction? Let's just pretend it is. Yeah, here it is. So, yeah. Keep on going. I see a note. I know it's just something's going to happen. Nothing happened for a while, so... Journal of Charles Hawthorne. No luck so far. It's hard to give. <sighs> it's hard to navigate the caves and parts keep falling in. We will not give up the search. We can't give up. We have come too far, far for it. Man, use punctuation, man. I can read this. So I guess it doesn't matter where I go first. I have to quest log anyway. I'm not even keeping track of time. I'll just record this in a single sitting. And then cut it up. Do we... Uh, yeah, we go here. I don't really recall any Edgar Allan Poe stories or Lovecraft stories being inside a cave. If you read one of those, please link it to me. I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to read the story again. I have all the books, but... So what's up here, anyway? I don't see anything. This is just a dead end. Where the heck do I go? Oh, here? Is this the way I came from? Ah, I'm so lost! This is the place I was before. This is the, the, 
the place out. I need something to break these rocks. But where is it? <gasps> hey, there's a note back here. Oh, look, there's something here. Finally. This must be it. Journal of James Hawthorne. One of the men went missing last night, and the others say they keep hearing noises. Bunch of crap if you ask me. We have found a new passage, and I think it may lead us to what we want. Which is what exactly? What do you guys want? Okay. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! You're not doing that shit to me again. Uh, ah! No! Don't fall! Crap! I'm stuck again! <laughs> it's biting my butt, it's biting my butt, it's biting my butt, it's biting my butt! Oh, how big is this cave? I see a note. I'm going in that other path. This seems like a new area. So it's, what I think happened is I found the exit first. Wait, was this the other path? That I obviously cannot go into. Oh, damn it. My hands are sweaty. Okay, okay, okay. Focus. You see a note. There's probably something there. Something that wants to bite my butt. Sure, yeah, the journal. We found it. My god, we found the old temple. The Necronomicon must lay within. We will push inside in search of it. Oh my god, there's a Necronomicon. That's from uh, the, C the Cthulhu saga from H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. The Cthulhu mythos. I love Cthulhu. It's one of my favorite stories of all time. It's, it's written like the 1920s of the or the 1930s. The guy's been dead for like almost a hundred years. So, well, not a hundred years, but you can probably find it online for free. It's a short story, but it's really good. I see a red light at the end of uh, the path. Probably not going to like what I'll find there. Because the Necronomicon is a book of hideous black magic. Uh, whoa! That's a lot of blood. Damn. So, is there something I need to find here? Doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, let's backtrack a bit. Oh my god, there was a pickaxe in this guy's hand all this time. Huh? What blew out my lantern? Find a source of light? Oh god, it's dark now. Alright. <laughs> I'm scared. The end? Ah! Oh. Well, that was good, I guess. <laughs> and was that the actual end, or did I just die? Because it really had me going for a while. I wish it was longer, but um, I'm just going to check out the video if this is actually the end. If this was not the end, I just died. This video will continue, but if not. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, these likes really help me out. And of course subscribe for more gaming goodness. And never forget to keep on rocking. Bye guys. Woo. It's crazy going all wobbly, going insane. Also heard that you um that you can't look at the enemies if you will go and say the course you can tell. So this is a weapon. Uh, you, you can't fight the enemies. You
just have to run for your life and hope it won't eat your face.